what's going on here. The Sturgeon of Liberty is shaking. She's quaking. She's on the point of breaking. Looks like musky business somewhere deep under her foundation. All right, Buster, that's enough. The Sturgeon's about to collapse. Let's cram. Ah, oh. <laughs> Ach, du Thermidor! <laughs> Krabs, hide out and wait for my signal! <laughs> While attempting to destroy the Surgeon of Liberty, I've stumbled on a buried treasure that will make me, Colonel Claw, the master of Chicago! <laughs> Mommy, is that you? Chicago was awash with the terrible news. Read all about it! Sergeant almost by me, my mysterious storm and lake! Sharky and George, I've summoned you because I don't know what else to do. The Sturgeon of Liberty is going to tumble. Unless you two investigate the suboceanic rumble that started this flurry. So get to work and hurry! <laughs> Shrimps, it's dark down there. Where do we start, George? Down there. We have to save the sturgeon. Chicago is counting on you. Be careful now, you two. Geronimo! George, look out! was awfully close, George. <gasps> How'd I get into this? Huh? Sharky, look, a tunnel. Mm -hmm. A tunnel? Let's have a look. Sharky, mm -hmm. look up there. Huh? They're hydroglyphics. Hydro what? Hydroglyphics. That's the alphabet of the ancient culture that ruled the seas thousands of tides ago. Look, it's telling us to go that way. Let's check it out. Listening barnacles, this is exciting. Well, which way do we go from here, George? That's easy, Sharky. Just follow the hydroglyphics. This way. George and I find our way cautiously down the tunnel, not knowing what we might find. Then suddenly... Well, here goes nothing, Sharky. Stickleback. It looks like an ancient sarcophagus. I think we may have stumbled on something important. Read all about it. The stunning discovery. It's Sharky and George stumble on ancient sarcophagus. Huh? It's on display near the Sturgeon of Liberty. Oh, oh, Sharky and George, you've done it again. You've discovered the tomb of King Trout and Clamen, commonly known as the Great King Trout. Oh, I'm so happy I can twist and shout. We still haven't solved the mystery of what's wrong with the Sturgeon of Liberty, but we have bigger things to think about. Yes, indeed, my friends. Who we have? King Trout. Fellow denizens, we owe a debt to Sharky and George for going so far down into the gorge and for coming back out with dear old King Trout. Huh? Oh, Look, it's moving! moving. Oh. Uh. Oh. Uh. Oh. oh my! Greetings, denizens of the deep. I'm back. <laughs> I have returned to take my rightful place as overlord of the oceans. Oh, oh, oh. 
<laughs> I've heard that voice before. Hello, Chicago, I'm back. Oh, it's Colonel Gore. <gasps> Yeah. <laughs> Let's get him, George. Krebs go out. <laughs> oh, no. no. <gasps> it's a real claw. Let's go. I command you, catch those fish. Split up. His kennel claw proceeded to finish off the sturgeon of liberty. Denizens of Chicago, you have no more sturgeon. You have no more liberty. From now on, would I say God? I wouldn't resist if I were you. Let's have two cheers for me. Hooray! Hooray! Why, George, how good of you to join us. I hope you'll stay for our crustacean celebration. <laughs> Meanwhile, at the museum, the Marquis of Finsbury was giving me a history lesson. There was yet another ancient king whose career was extremely interesting. Augustus Crabber. Oh, that's fascinating, but how are we going to save George? Crabs flee when they hear the name of Augustus. But he isn't around to help us. Or is he? It's time for the crustacean celebration to begin. <laughs> with a little combat between George here and Buster Crab, our champion. <laughs> to save time, George, we won't untie you. <laughs> Go for it! I command you. Who said that? 